again, Guardians, and welcome back to Violent Privilege. My name is Hunter, and today we are doing another Varix opening. So yes, it is week 7. We are in front of Varix, and I actually do have my Titan unlocked this time. So my Titan is obviously back up to level 40, as you can see here, with the minimal amount of stuff that you have to have to be a light level 333. And I haven't even changed my emblem I mean come on haven't even changed my emblem don't even have an artifact and I also just normally Sparrow and the normal ship so really I've only put on a shader I mean it's ridiculous but let's go into my first character for this week Good. we are actually gonna be doing seven characters this week so elders weapon number one is going to be the her champion elders armor number one is gonna be the witness helm and we got a judgment rank one which is nice thank you very so much now we are going to take a look at what we've got hopefully it's something good 334 her champion and we'll look at what the perks are linear compensator field choke we've got crowd control uh, let's see here we've got lightweight oiled frame small bore small bore is pretty nice I like small bore and last resort handle and reloads faster when the wielder is at the last living fire team member which is not really that big of a deal I don't care about last resort I also don't really care about crowd control very much but hey why not I mean if, if we're going on a kill a killing spree in the crucible I'm pretty sure in the crucible this crowd control would be pretty good but um not really my destined shotgun I kinda like the uh the old style shotguns in the crucible but there we go there is the titan guys hope you guys enjoyed the titan let's move on to the next character okay guys so we're on my warlock now my trusted warlock everybody knows i love the warlock the most and let's go and see what varix wants to give my warlock now so elder weapon number two we got the her champion again what the hell varix and let's see keeper's gloves i'm pretty sure we got that last week as well Hmm. I don't think uh, Varix is doing too good with us. Now, let's see what we've got going here. We've got the... Oh, no, we didn't get the Keeper's Gloves. 334. Kind of boring. But what? what why, why not? Whatever. We're going to go into the gloves. We'll see. Let's see. Snap Discharge. Sniper Rifle Loader. And Momentum Transfer. And we've got uh, Discipline and a Strength. Not too good. Not too, not too good for me. And we've got a... 335 her champion and it is arc it is going to have the red chroma right off the bat which is pretty nice cqb ballistics we've got army of one we've got high caliber rounds rifled barrel we've got reinforced barrel and we've got danger close uh still not a good shotgun not preferred i'm not really enjoying that very much so yeah uh let's move on to my hunter Okay guys, so I'm here on my hunter, and now we're going to see what the weapon in armor number 3 is going to be for this week. So, let's see here. Elder's weapon number 3. Her Fury, nice. Elder's armor number 3. Warden's Blood, and we're going to do a Judgment's Tribute to add on to this unboxing. We've got Kel's Cloak, and we've got some Reputation Booster, which is nice. Thank you, Varix. Thank you so very much. Now, we've got the Warden's Blood already, which we had an Intellect and Strength one with a Hand Cannon and Void Burn Damage. This one, on the other hand, is going to be Intellect and Strength again. Don't know why they keep doing that. It's going to be an 84 roll and a 78 roll. This one's 83 and 85, so this one's actually still better. But this one also has increased ammo capacity for a handgun, but it has Arc Burn Damage instead. So I'm kind of liking this one a little bit. So, I mean, we can look at it really quick. We've got the arc armor. We've got fusion rifle ammo as well. So fusion rifle ammo compared to which one? Sniper ammo. Which, then again, the one that I'm wearing is still better. Now, the Her Fury is a Solar 335, which this one's a 335 as well. So we can actually compare these two really quick. So the old one that I had was going to be an underdog, quick draw, rifled barrel, reinforced barrel, and then spray and play. The new weak one is going to be probably much better because it's got eye of a storm explosive rounds rifled barrel small bore and spray and play so actually this one for this week is actually much better would i still use it in crucible 
Not so much. I still like my thousand yard stare over anything and my longbow synthesis over anything. And occasionally the Howard Defiance of Yasmin or the Defiance of Aim Assist. Now let's move on to a different account altogether and go through another three characters, guys. So yeah, let's start scheming and let's get on. Okay, Guardians, so we're on the second Warlock for tonight, and we're going to be testing out what we're going to be getting for Weapons 4 and Armor 4. So here we go. Weapon. The Lethe Nobilis, or French term, you know, the noble one. Basically, let's see, let's see the armor. And we got Keeper's Gloves for the Warlock again. Come on, Varrocks. Change it up a bit, man. Change it up a bit. Okay, so for this, we've got Discipline and Strength, 54 and 55. We can go into the details. We can go into Scout Rifle Loader, A, Energy Projection, Impact Induction, and Increased Discipline and Strength, like I said before. 335, very, very nice. Now let's go on to the weapon, 335 as well. Ooh, let's see, Hidden Hand, Explosive Rounds, Braced Frame, Custom Optics, and Eye of the Storm. Holy crap. OEG as well. Um, This one is actually really good, and I'm thinking I'm going to take this account and test it out in Crucible. I also refer Red Dog to take this out and test in Crucible as well, because that's actually a really good scout rifle. I'm quite impressed. So, okay, let's move on to the next character. Okay, guys, so we are on the second character for Red Dog's account number two, and we are going to be checking out the Titan. So, weapons five and armor five. Let's see the weapon. We've got her revenge and armor. We've got the Curious of the Witness. Nice. Now, let's check out the stats on this. We are going to go to her revenge. I haven't actually gotten this myself on my personal account, but sure shot IS. Steady hand IS. Exhumed, hand loaded, braced frame, rifled barrel, and grenadier. Mm, I don't like it. It's a 335, though. So he can break it down into something else. Now we've also got a 334, Curse the Witness. We've got Discipline and Strength, 83 and 82. And we've got the Increased Discipline and Strength, Cannon Ammo, and Rifle Ammo, along with Burn Defense and Arc Armor. Interesting. I don't like it, but hey, we'll figure out what Red Dog wants to do with that, right? He's got a 335 chest already in multiple occasions. So it's not really that big of a deal. Let's move on to the third character, shall we? Okay, guys, this is exciting. Now we're on to character number six. So we're going through another weapon and armor for Varix. And this is the biggest one so far on the channel. So weapon number six is Nightmare. And armor is going to be Warden's Path. The boots for the Hunter, might I say. Now the Nightmare is going to be 335. Nice. And the stats on this is going to be Danger Close, Quick Draw, Flared Magwell, Field Scout, and Grenades and Horseshoes. Actually, not that bad. Um, increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are close. And if they're close, they might even be next to each other. And you can fire off one rocket. Then, also with the Field Scout, you can increase your ammo capacity in Crucible. And... The grenades and horseshoes, that's always amazing as well. So that all around is a good rocket launcher. Now for the boots, we're going to have intellect and strength. Okay for the hunter, but I still like intellect and discipline over anything. Ammo for the sidearm. And rocket launcher ammo. That is actually really good. And arc double down. Not too bad as well, especially if you're going to be running your you know, your Blade Dancer. But there is number six for this week, and now we have another character to go over. So let's move on to that one. Okay, Guardians, so yes, we are on a third account for this unboxing video on the final character number seven, and we are going to go through Varix and see the weapon seven and, we and armor number seven for this week. So we are on Odyssey Grimwall's account, so thank you, Odyssey. And also, thank you, Red Dog, for the last three characters as well. So, weapon. We've got the Bane of the Taken. Armor. We ended up getting a third Keeper's Gloves. What the hell, Varix? Three times in a row on Warlocks. Okay, so Judgment's Tribute. We ended up getting Kel's Bond and a Booster. So, pretty sure Odyssey Grimwall's going to like that very much. Let's check these out and finish up this video, shall we? So 335 uh, uh, Void, Bane of the Taken. 
We ended up getting the Accurized Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics. We ended up getting Counterbalance, Perfect Balance, Injection Mold, Reinforced Barrel, and also Army of One. These two right here, simultaneously, are amazing. And if this would have gotten Hidden Hand, that would have been even better. I'm telling you, that actually would have been the best roll for that, probably. Now for the Keeper's Gloves, we got 334. Apparently, obviously, because of 334 that we already have, so it wouldn't give us 335. No, this game doesn't like to give it, uh, give people, you know, items to actually level up. So we've got Discipline and Strength. We keep getting Discipline and Strength, guys. I've never actually seen any Intellect and Discipline drop from this for, for any unknown reason at all. But we got Scout Rifle Loader, Impact Induction, and also Energy Projection. We've got the Increased Discipline and Strength, which maxes out at what uh, 53 and 53 so we'll get 53 and 36 or you know 36 and 53 but there it is that is the seventh character guardians I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on the video share it with your friends and also I have something one last thing to say this is the last week's Varric's unboxing video so uh, most likely the last week I am going to leave it up to you guys. If you want to see more of these Varric's unboxing videos, I will put out a week 8, and I will have even more characters to go through for this week coming up. If you want that, please drop a like, leave a comment in the comment section saying that you want to see more, if you do. And again, Guardians, this is Hunter from Violent Privilege, and like always, we'll see you all in the next video. That's the ribcage of a demon. That's the hand of a demon. That is the head of a fucking demon. How big was this son?